Hey guys, so here we are at the off-grid cabin and I wanted to discuss, you know, are you really prepared? You know, there's people that kind of go off-grid for a lot of different reasons. One of the reasons is freedom. You just don't want to be tied down to the rat race of the world. Uh, other people go off-grid for the financial benefits of it. You know, you don't have all the expenses once you're set up as everybody else and you don't have to you know go join the rat race as much to live off grid and then you know some people are doing it for prepping reasons you know they're worried about the end of the world and you know ultimately you know as time goes on we're going to probably realize some really difficult times in the future and some people do it for safety and security reasons and you know, one of the most essential tools to off-grid living, probably the most essential tool tool now to off-grid living, is a chainsaw. And that's great. That's a great chainsaw. You know, it, it, you're gonna get years and years and years and years of service out of it. But the problem with this chainsaw and off-grid, it's fine as long as you're off grid and the world keeps functioning because that tool needs gasoline right you got to have that in order for that to work so a lot of you guys maybe you're thinking ahead some of you aren't thinking ahead i'm gonna help you think ahead a little bit if you are truly concerned about where this world and our country is going and you want to be off grid and you want to be able to sustain yourself in even the most extreme situations, then you have to think, what would happen if I didn't have fuel, oil, gas, all that stuff? What would happen? Would you still be able to function in your off-grid home? Because a lot of people off-grid still use a lot of propane, still use a lot of gasoline or fuel oil even, you know, in some situations off-grid. So... You know, one of the ways to combat that is what I've done here in my video. If, you, if you've seen my videos posted up here about solar power and off-grid solar power. And I actually have an off-grid well also, which my well works off of solar power. And that's all fine and dandy in pretty much every situation except, you know, like an EMP. If an EMP were to, to, to affect your solar system it, it's going to burn out your circuitry and then you know while your panels will still function there's no circuitry for your charge controllers or any of that other stuff could mess that up so one thing you need to think about in, in long term is you know if you don't have EMP hardened electronics then that's something that you probably should invest in if you are completely off grid and not tied to the grid system and you're not extremely close to an EMP type attack or set off or bomb or whatever, then, you know, there's a chance that your system may not burn out because your, you know, your wiring may not receive enough, whatever that gamma rays or whatever it is that comes off of the EMP to, you know, throw your system into burnout. But, you know, you can't really count on that. But short of an EMP, if everything go, turns upside down, you won't, you're not gonna be able to go to the gas station and buy any gas. You're not gonna be able to go to the store and get propane. So you need to be thinking about alternatives to that type of thing, you know, wood fire. And if you have wood fire, can you even cut your firewood because you don't have gas for your chainsaw? So I have several hand saws that I can use in worst case scenarios and you know axes and things like that so that I can get wood to heat my cabin because I, I that's the only way I heat my cabin is is with wood but I invested in this and this is a battery powered chainsaw it's you know got a lot of power I, I can't remember off the top of my head it's 56 volts 
lasts a long time, comes with a charger. You can get a spare battery if you need it. Now I'm not, I'm not being, you know, paid for this by anybody. The Ego seems to get some of the, the best reviews. Steel also makes one, but the steel battery powered one, which this is not, is almost double the price of the Ego. So I got that because I have a solar system off the grid solar system. I can charge that at any time. Short of an EMP attack that burns my system out, I can charge that at any time. No matter what the gas station does, no matter what the propane station does, I can still charge that. So you need to be thinking in terms of self-sustainability without gas, ultimately if that's your motivation so i just kind of wanted to make that video this video for you guys so you would understand you know just because you're off grid doesn't mean you're safe you know how long can you live without fuel you know and, and i think probably most off gridders still use fuel so consider those things consider you know ultimately hardening when you upgrade your charge controllers or if you've got the extra money around now you know your charge controllers and your inverters and things like that they make them you know they make them emp hardened now they're not cheap you know they're probably double to triple the price of a regular inverter or charge controller and one other thing you could do not sure if it'd be completely effective or not would be to house your controllers and stuff inside of a faraday cage which is just a basically a, a grounded netting system which would divert any electromagnetic pulse to that and into the ground before it could get to your system i'm no expert on that i've considered maybe doing that uh, but but i haven't you know committed to that yet so anyhow there are some options for you Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.